Yo, what is up guys? So for today, we're gonna be talking about Destiny 2. Now specifically, we're gonna be talking about Vault of Glass. Uh, I tried to do the day one and I just kind of gave up, uh, to be quite honest. The biggest factor of that is probably the fact that I didn't have like a raid team. And what I mean by that is I didn't have like friends in the raid team. I had people I literally just met, like it was an LFG essentially. And there's such a such a stark difference between raiding with your homies that you've been in that you've been in a clan with since like a while compared to like people you just met. And for me, like Vault of Glass for me was has never been like the raid for me. Mostly because it wasn't like my first raid. So for me, I don't have that like nostalgia love for it. I mean, I like, I like Vault of Glass. I think the weapons and armor are dope as hell. I definitely, I definitely have like an attachment to Vision of Confluence. But if you were to ask me like, Vault of Glass is the best raid in Destiny 1, right? I would be like, no, it's not. No, it's, it's King's Fall. Like for me, it's King's Fall, hands down. Like if you want to talk best raid, King's Fall. If you want to talk your, my favorite raid, Crota. I think Crota was dope as fuck, but that was also my first raid, so. Uh, and you might be thinking, don't you always say that you're like a D1 vet since like beta and all this? I am, I am. <laughs> it's funny because I am actually a D1 vet uh, from beta. But the funny thing is, uh, I didn't raid until Crota's end came out because, uh, one, I did not find anyone to run vault with. And back in those days, like, I didn't know about like pretty much finding a group and all that shit. Uh, so. For me, I really didn't care, to be quite honest. Like, I knew there was a raid, but I was like, I don't I don't really give a fuck. Like, aside from the raid, there's really nothing to do. So, that whole first year was just me doing other shit aside from the raid. Which, in hindsight, I probably should have done the raid. But, I'm kind of happy I didn't do it either. Because, like, I don't have that, like, nostalgia goggles for that raid. Because the raid is not that fun to run. At least for me, like back then, like I never really liked to ran Vogue. Vog for me was just like, eh, whatever. Uh, that feeling, oh my god, it came back in Destiny 2. Like we were we were running Vogue and like the first area, dope, like it's cool, it was challenging, I liked it. And then we got start going to like the inside and start doing like the mechanics and whatnot. And I was like, oh, I remember why I didn't like this raid. Like fucking oracles were annoying uh templar was annoying like i just i didn't vibe with it so for me i was just like i don't i don't care like immediately i became detached from like from doing the raid like i was like I, i'm not doing it with friends i'm not doing it with clan mates i already don't give a shit like i know that sounds rough but there is such a big difference between doing it with your homies than doing it with random people you don't know especially when you have one fucking asshole who's trying to like be the life of the party but he's just annoying not only that he's trying to lead the group with dumbass ideas and on top of that we have another dude who's ran vog like 50 to like 500 times i don't remember the exact number he's ran the artifact so many times but the dude who was trying to be really cool did not want to leave that position because he wanted he wanted to be the artifact running even though he was the only warlock that could heal us so we we're we we're just like well i guess we'll just die until i was just like fuck it i'll just switch to my warlock and do this on my hunter later like i do not miss lfg lfg fucking sucks so i'm gonna be looking for for a clan i'm already looking for a clan i left my old my my previously old one because they weren't doing shit like at all so now i'm currently looking for another clan hopefully i can find it like an actual like small community where i can like actually know people and not just an lfg clan i hate that shit but i just wanted to make this video just to talk about vogue to be quite honest because like i understand it's a lot of people's favorites but i just don't see it and I will definitely be the first one to tell you that, you know what, it's probably because it wasn't my first raid. But even then, like, I can still see faults with King's Fall. Like, King's Fall was so mechanically dense that, like, it was annoying to run sometimes. 
but i think what made it that much greater is the fact that we had lore behind him already before we even got to the raid we already knew what the fuck was happening like we had the story before uh, doing the raid like i think everything for that raid was so good because we killed oryx in our world and then we had to go back inside in his realm to kill him again like for me it was probably one of the best setups for it because it was all in game it, there was no like there was definitely grimoires and shit like that but when we got the taken king we not only did the story to beat him but then we went into the raid to beat him again like for me that's just fucking dope if vault of glass had something like that where it kind of did but at the same time destiny one story was such dog shit like for i don't know uh, let me know your thoughts what your favorite raid is i definitely will tell you that like crota is my favorite but the best one i think from d1 is definitely like hands down king's fall and for second place it would probably be wrath of the machine and then vog and then crota because i do i do understand that crota is probably the weakest out of all of them in d1 but it's still my favorite because it was the one i ran and that's the one i found my clanmates my old clanmates so i oh, shouldn't even, wouldn't even say clanmates my old homies like yeah but i just wanted to make this this little video just to like explain to you guys my thoughts on vog and why i didn't make this grandiose video about it even though i'm losing potential views from it and it's irresponsible for me because like i really should have completed it day one and make content on it but there's one thing you guys should probably understand about me is that i will never go out of my way to make content i don't want to make i just don't see the point i'd rather make content i like and can look back and be like i'm really proud of this video like some of the videos i'm really proud of are like the videos where i explain weapons like the weapon reviews i i'm really happy with those videos because i go out of my way to edit those they're really annoying to edit most of the time i have to fight with my editing software uh those videos are definitely a love making type of video where it's more for the love of making content the way i do than anything else because those videos don't even do well but i do it because i like doing them for you guys because i know people most of the time do watch those videos and at least are a little bit informed so let me know your thoughts and comments below i know i'm gonna get a lot of hate for saying that vlog is not that great but i don't care i do not subscribe to this uh vlog is the best ride i don't think it is i mean if you think it is i mean it's your opinion bro i don't really i'm not trying i'm not really trying to fight you on that if it's your favorite go buck wild dog i just think king's fall is the best <laughs> so let me know your thoughts and comments below if you guys want to follow me on my social media links are in the description below i thank you all for coming up to this point i'll see you guys later